All right, turn your formula sheet over to the back. Right at the top, in the center, intersecting secants. We have a secant line here. See how it hits the circle once, twice. Secant line here, it hits the circle once, twice. The formula is right in the center at the top. Now, this one gets confused with the intersecting chords that we did just a couple videos ago. Where we take the two numbers and we multiply and set them equal to the others. Because this one is the exterior part of the segment, which is six, times the entire length of this segment, which is six plus x. equals the exterior length of the other secant line, five, times the entire length of the secant line, which is five plus seven, which is 12. Then you solve. Distribute six times six, 36, six times x, six x equals 60. Solve, and what do you get? Someone got four. Did anyone else get four? Four, four it is. Um, anyone still writing? Yes. You guys are quiet today. Good? These are the ones people have trouble with. A common mistake for this kind of problem is to do six times X equals five times seven. I see that every year. <clears throat> This one is the exact same concept as the previous one, except for we have one secant line and one tangent line, which is to the right on the formula sheet, okay? And the concept, I need everyone to pay attention because it is exactly like the previous one. It's the exterior part of the secant line times the entire length, which is four plus 12, so that's 16, equals, same thing on the other side, except the exterior part of the segment is the same length as the entire segment. So it's just x times x, x squared. This is 64. square root, and we're in geometry, so this is gonna be a length, so it's just gonna be positive, so x is equal to eight. Questions? This video you might need to watch again.